Uh, there's a great program growing in gardens all across Denver, working to stop hunger in Colorado. People with urban gardens putting up signs uh, growing and giving their extra produce to the food bank. Now, one out of every seven people in our state experienced hunger at some point in the last year. This grassroots program aims to end that. Kristen Scovero went out today and got into the gardening. Plant, grow, and share. That's the message hunger relief organizations are trying to cultivate. We're encouraging home, school, and community gardeners all over the state of Colorado to grow some extra food. Gardeners like Janine Kaposka Brook, who took me into her urban oasis, overflowing with tomatoes, beans, and lettuce. My days are spent weeding, planting, uh, fertilizing, harvesting, and moving food around to people in need. And the need is there. Hunger for Colorado, along with Produce for Pantries, created a hotline so gardeners like Janine can connect with nearby food pantries and help those living in poverty get their fresh fruits and vegetables. So how much food can a backyard garden actually produce? Janine tells me they picked 14 baskets just like this one last night. So far, nearly 40 gardeners have registered with the program. And she said, here's your sign and three more for your neighborhood. <laughs> They've donated 1,000 pounds of produce to local organizations that are usually forced to rely on canned goods and non-perishables and hope the project will continue to grow season after season. It's great to see that people out there are taking the time to garden and then donate to local food pantries because people are struggling with hunger. Think you don't have enough time or space to create a garden of your own? Not to worry. They say everyone can acquire a green thumb, just start small. Think of, of two or three vegetables that you would really like to grow, and let's start with that. All right, Kristen is here. And Kristen, great story. In Thank your you. story, you told us uh, how if people want to grow their garden and get involved in there, but what about folks who need the help right. and they want to get some of that homegrown produce? Absolutely, and if they need extra assistance, we have all the information on the NOW's Facebook page. It's all about Hunger Free Hotline, and they kind of connect people with local food banks, and then also if you have a garden, they want to hear from you. Do you right. have a garden, Lionel? Uh, I do not, but my wife did plant something like a 100-pound pumpkin, so... Maybe if, they want that. I well, don't know. Give them a call. <laughs> well, if the pumpkin grows to 100 pounds, we'll cut it up and bring it to the food bank. And Maybe start pies. for next season, exactly. I think. Maybe next right. year. <laughs> Kristen, thanks so much.